Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ballet Time, where we watch ballets and then tell you all about them for the benefit of this specific joke. I'm Polka Kells. And I'm Gardner Alex. In stunning cape and mask, Roserade has just performed the grand ballet, The Rite of Spring. The crowd is going crazy. And look, they're throwing flowers at her feet. How wonderful, but was it all a scam after all? What? Have we totally blown your minds? This was supposed to be a cute ballet bit. It's Roserade, mother f Roserade's the bouquet Pokemon and was added as an evolution of Roselia in Gen 4. And at its most basic, its design is inspired by a masquerade dancer. Masquerades became popular all the way back in the 15th century. Basically, they were just huge, beautiful parties where everyone wore costumes with masks and danced. You see them a lot in plays and period films, mostly because they look so pretty. So that's the raid part, but what about the rose? Well, that aspect of design also stems from the theater and tradition of flower throwing. LOL stems. You most commonly see flower throwing at operas and ballets, and it's basically exactly what it sounds like, just throwing bouquets of flowers at the players and dancers at the end of the show. But don't get too excited and end up being rude. Etiquette dictates that giving a performer flowers before the show is bad luck, and that lesser roles are not to receive flowers unless the leads have already received them. Also, probably the weirdest one, the leading lady and the director were customarily presented with flowers stolen from a graveyard on closing night to symbolize the death of the show. Morbid much? I don't know. Seems pretty morbid to me. Yeah, but the point is the traditional flower to throw is roses, aka Roserade, aka good Pokemon design. Yeah, man, the Pokedex even says it's like a graceful dancer and stuff. That's dope. Sure is, but wait a second, you say. Roserade is a poison type. There's no such thing as a poisonous rose. Don't they just have thorns? Oh, wait, yeah, people eat roses all the time. That would be B-A-D. That's bad. That spells bad. So why is Roserade a poison type? We know the answer, and to let you in on the secret, here's a little segment we like to call... What? The Hellbore? What? Hellbore? What's Hellbore, you ask? Well, let's dissect the word. Well, Elos means fawn like a baby deer, and Bora is food, so baby fawn food? That's cute. Well, yeah, until you realize that Helle means to take away, and Hellbore actually translates to to rob the fawns of food. Yikes, that don't sound too good, but hey, at least it's for a good reason. That's right, dummy, Hellbore's toxic as heck. So much so that it was often used in assassinations way back when, and even in teeny tiny doses of paralytic medicine. Literally, just touching these plants can cause chemical burns. Like, dang, dude. And Hellbore isn't just dangerous, it has another trick up its sleeve too. The trick of impersonation. A few species of Hellbore have been taken to calling themselves Lenten Rose, Christmas Rose, and White Rose because of their uncanny resemblance to, you guessed it, roses. So hold up, wait, wait, wait. White Rose? Like, Roserade? Are you... Are you a Hellbore in disguise? Perhaps a poisonous Hellbore masquerading as a rose? Oh, snap! Gotcha! So if I five. Yes, better. Better. Yes, we did it. Not to mention how popular poisoning is for killing off characters in plays on account of it being much easier to portray believably on stage. I mean, come on. Would you rather strap a bag of fake blood to your body for two hours waiting to get stabbed or just be all like, oh, Romeo, and just like slowly lay down? Poof, dead. Yeah, man, dead, and it all ties in with Roserade, the perfect crime. Roserade, seething shadows, breathing lies. Roserade, you can fool any trainer who ever knew you. What the hell, boy? Yes. What? I love it when the research is a home run. It gets me jacked. I want to lay some smack down. Well, good news, because I love smacking dudes down with Roserade. Get hyped for some bat strats, people. Oh, dude, Pokemon. Guys, I love Roserade. Such a great opening Pokemon and a great mind games pick for any team. Start with the timid one and super train it in special attack and speed. I like to go Focus Sash for the hold item because it makes it easier to open with either Spikes or Sleep Powder depending on who your opponent is. Also, both are great for when you need to predict a switch. Remember that from mid-game. Your main stab move should probably be Sludge Bomb, especially for that poison chance, but I also love running Leaf Storm to round out this set just in case I run into something that I will completely destroy, which I often do. Finally, make sure this Roserade has Natural Cure, which heals your status conditions when you switch out. A paralyzed Roserade is almost useless, so don't fall into that trap. You're better than that. And that's that. But of course, that's not the only way to train a Roserade, so as always, here are a few random thoughts. This set is also totally doable with a Life Orb if you need that little extra oomph in the clutch. Which, you know, some people do. A few Showdown Folk, another great surprise move to have on this set, instead of Leaf Storm is Hidden Power Fire, especially if you run into Pesky Old Ferrothorn, because that'll get him well done. That'll, that'll crush that dude. 
You can kind of spec Roserade a little more bulky and run Giga Drain and Synthesis to kind of stay in and be annoying, and while that's definitely legit, I don't think it has many good applications. And finally, don't forget about Grass-type mainstays like Leech Seed and Aromatherapy. Roserade has access to both, and they're both always useful. Isn't it great to have options? <sighs> And that's Roserade, the masked flower who's really a way worse flower in disguise. Is this the plot of a young adult book series yet? Okay, if you like what you see, why not subscribe? Or if you want to support us, you can head over to BarkBox.com slash The National Decks and get one free month just for watching our show. It's like a loot crate for dogs. It's awesome. To see another great competitive grass type, click here for the Breloom episode or click here to hear some of the spooky stories behind Trevenant's design. Thanks for watching. I'm Polka Kells. And I'm Gardner Alex. Tune in next week for another titanic episode of The, the Decks. Decks is added as an evolution of Roselia in Gen 4? 6? What are those symbols? Morbid much? I don't know. Seems pretty morbid to me. But don't get too excited or you'll end up being rude. Etiquette to etiquette to <laughs> etiquette. I know how to say that word. Start with the timid one and super train it in special attack and speed. Make sure this Roserade has natural cure, which hears, hears you out when you have a problem. But here's a little segment we like to call... What the hell, Boar? What the hell?